I heard the six gunshots right outside my bedroom window. Those gunshots prompted Peggy Studnik to look out her window. It was bad. He was laying there. He was alert and he was talking, but he was rolling in pain. He was just in so much pain. Milwaukee police say they were called to the North Shore Bank at 80th and Capitol around 8 o'clock Thursday morning. One of the guards, a 55-year-old man, was wounded after the suspect shot him multiple times. Police only describe the injuries as non-fatal. Surveillance video from another business shows the suspect running to a getaway car. The suspect then drops the money as they get to the car, then scrambles to scoop some of it up as the driver takes off. If both Studnik and this scene look familiar, it's because robbers hit an armored truck at this same bank back in January. I'm more anxious now than I ever was. I can't afford to move anywhere else. I mean, I don't want to. I'm comfortable here and I really don't want to move, but uh, I don't know. It's kind of pushing me towards that right now. This incident was the eighth reported shooting in Milwaukee over a span of 18 hours going back to Wednesday afternoon. Two of those shootings are now being investigated as homicides. We went downtown where Mayor Cavalier Johnson was taking questions at a press club event. We asked about this most recent run of shootings. In his response, Johnson renews his call for the legislature to pass tougher gun laws. I mean, those folks who are shooting people in neighborhoods, those folks who are uh, attempting to rob uh, armored trucks, they obviously shouldn't have their hands on a gun, obviously. Um, and so we need the state's help in order to make sure that happens. Studnik hopes the bank will act and move the ATMs away from the alley. They had their ATMs in the front of the bank all this time, and now they moved them to the back, and I thought that was a dumb move right away. And she is just worried about a man who was wounded while at work. And I feel bad for the guy that got shot. I mean, I feel really bad for the guard, and I hope he's okay. In Milwaukee, A.J. Byatt, CBS 58 News.